Welcome. In this video, I will show you how you can upgrade your SQL Server instance. Uh, upgrading an instance is a process in uh, which you upgrade your existing uh, SQL Server instance uh, to the new one. For example, I have here, uh, in this case, in this, uh, in this tutorial, I have 2008 SQL Server and uh, it's standard edition and I like to update to 2012 uh, Enterprise Edition. Before you start uh, upgrading your SQL Server, uh, you should uh, be careful because it's not possible to upgrade uh, any SQL Server on any uh, version. You know, it's uh, you can see here it's supported uh, version and uh, edition of uh, SQL Server, and you can find this on Microsoft.com web page and you can see uh, from which to which uh, version you can upgrade and uh, as I said I have SQL Server 2008 uh, edition standard and I will upgrade to SQL Server 2012 Enterprise Edition I'm using uh, VMware Workstation 11 and uh, I have uh, already installed the uh, uh, free different uh, version of uh, Windows Windows Server on, on uh, virtual machine and uh, this is the one I have uh, Windows Server 2008 here and uh, also I have SQL Server 2008 on this particular uh, virtual machine and I will show you how you can install or how you can upgrade your uh, uh, SQL Server instance uh, on the newer version in this case that will be Enterprise Edition 2012. Uh, you have actually two options when you're planning your migration. You can upgrade a uh, current uh, instance in place, or you can uh, simply install the new uh, SQL Server on the new uh, Windows Server, you know, and uh, just uh, using a detach and detach or backup and restore database or just uh, using copy database wizard and transfer your, your data there you know but uh, in this case in this example I will show you how you can uh, use uh, uh, upgrade current instance in place what that means first of all always when you use this migration strategy you should use help uh, from SQL Server 2012 Upgrade Advisor. Upgrade Advisor is uh, is already included in uh, SQL Server 2012 Media Installer, installer and uh, it's actually help to identify uh, what uh, what problem and what issues you will have after uh, upgrading your your current version of SQL Server. And uh, you can check, for example, uh, uh, any any issue connected with your uh, database engine or with your uh, analyze services, reporting services, integration services. And it's it's uh, very helpful. And I will show you how how you can use it. We will launch our uh, Microsoft SQL Server Upgrade Advisor, and uh, you can see here we can we can connect, uh, we can uh, check all the components we need or we want to check. For example, SQL Server, Analyst Services, uh, Reporting Service, Integration Service. Actually, I do not have Reporting Service on this server, SQL Server. And uh, if I check this and continue it uh, with Advisor, I'll get an error because uh, Advisor has not found uh, this component, this feature here. But uh, also, if I check notification services or, or data data transformation services, I will get error because in the new version SQL Server 2012 we do not have those those components. And uh, okay, I will click next. Now uh, you should choose your uh, instance name, my C Microsoft SQL Server, and authentication. I use Windows authentication, but uh, you know. If you have any other user, you can use it. Okay, my actually my uh, I'm using uh, just a database to analyze all database since I do not have any any data on my SQL Server or any packages, for example, in uh, integration services and in the rest. Okay, 
I'm using uh, MSQL Server, as I said. Uh, analyze I said package and service uh, server. I do not have any uh, packages for mine, but uh, there are some uh, default packages already in uh, integration services, and you will see if uh, I get any error. I will show you uh, those packages. You know. Okay, just run. This will take some time and uh, if you see that I stop recording and continue again that means that uh, I don't want to waste your time to watching uh, uh, s this kind of stuff you know just installing it. Uh, I will be back again of course uh, when this process end. Okay I'm back again and uh, you can see here we have two errors and it's actually not uh, it's just a warning and uh, it's probably not a big deal, but uh, it's uh, very important to check everything, you know, and we'll check now. Analyze services is okay, integration service. Uh, okay, let's see. Yes, we have SQL uh, it's a It's a problem with uh, our provider name, actually, and uh, uh, every, every version of uh, SQL Server using uh, different provider, ODB provider name, and uh, uh, we can see on which object we will have that problem. We have six objects. That probably some packages from uh, default packages which already have installed in our integration services, and we will check that, and we will. And uh, you can see here when to fix it's after and uh, after we install our SQL Server 2012, we could update uh, provider names uh, to the connection string. I will show you how. And uh, just explanation here we have from SQL Server and you can see here it's uh, during the time you know the provider string has changed in SQL Server 2005 again and of course for analyze services also you can see here that uh, provider name has changed and to show you how to do that Okay, this is just installation. I will use uh, this is my uh, SQL Server already installed. It's as I said, SQL Server 2008 version, and uh, I have my uh, SQL Server Manager Studio already logged in with my account. And you can see here I have uh, integration services, and uh, we have storage packages here, and in MSDB. In data collector, we have our uh, our packages uh, which have problem with uh, provider name or with our string connection. Uh, I think it's uh, if I so right. If I so right, uh, just a second, to see which object we have. Okay, okay, counter, counter query query and uh, it's trace uh, yes uh, uh, those six objects have those six packages have problem and uh, it's uh, very easy to check you know which uh, connection string you know to see if uh, if that's true you know? and uh, yes uh, you can see here provider and uh, it is, this is not right provider and uh, it's very easy to fix that after installation you can just uh, upgrade packages to the new version it's uh, very easy to do and uh, you should choose uh, every of those packages which uh, uh, could have a problem with with uh, connection string and just update and uh, everything will be fine those two actually do not have a problem it's possible that uh, do not have any connection string in, in their configuration yes it's empty okay Everything, uh, everything seems fine, and uh, actually we could uh, just continue with our upgrade, our our uh, Microsoft SQL Server 2012 upgrade. Advisor said that uh, everything will be fine. You know, we had a couple of warnings, but it's not a big deal. You know, and I already have prepared my uh, CD with uh, 2012 uh, version, and I will click on upgrade SQL Server. 2005 8 uh, to 2012 and this will take some time
okay those are set up rules and uh, it's just checking you know to, to see if uh, your SQL server your machine here virtual machine in my case is capable to accept all those uh, files from new upgraded SQL server you know. okay everything seems fine okay those are license terms you should accept uh, all the license terms so yes it's uh, it's very important to to include all the product updates it will take some time but yes, we, ha we have update for 26 megabyte and we will install that okay I'm back and we'll continue with our upgrade to SQL Server 2012. Uh, those are uh, setup support rules, so identifying problems which you could have during the installation or upgrading, uh, uh, upgrade during the upgrade of our SQL Server 2012. And everything seems fine. And uh, now we should choose our instance. This is our default instance, and we'll choose that. And just uh, next. Okay. Of course, uh, now is part of select features uh, which we have installed on our uh, SQL Server 2008 now, and uh, we will up upgrade all the features. Uh, 2012, of course, it's not. Uh, it's not like option; it's uh, mandatory. So. And uh, instance configuration, uh, it's, uh, it's the same. We will use uh, our default instance, uh, it's Microsoft SQL Server, and uh, uh, just click next. Those are shared components here. You can see our uh, management tools here also. For any instance we have installed, for example, on this uh, particular. Uh, SQL Server, and this is just, uh, just our hardware, uh, hardware checking. You know, if uh, enough space on our system drive, we have enough space, and we'll just continue. And uh, again, uh, service accounts, uh, and uh, it's uh, since we don't have any other services besides integration services, uh, it's everything okay. Just import and uh, upgrade rules. You can see here, uh, it's uh, it's upgrade rules, and uh, it's uh, very very important to see if uh, anything can block your your upgrading your SQL Server to, uh, 2008 or 2012. Uh, like for example, if you don't have some service pack, uh, uh, because this service pack too is mandatory for for this kind of upgrading. And uh, many other things, you know, you can check all those uh, rules, but we do not have any warning, any error. And uh, uh, we used uh, SQL Server uh, Advisor, you know, to upgrade Advisor. And uh, if we have any of those problems, probably we already know, know it uh, before we start our upgrading. And we'll click Next. And... Uh, we have uh, what is ready for upgrading. Okay, we can check all those things, but it's everything's okay. And uh, now we start our upgrading SQL Server 2008 to SQL Server 2012. And uh, I'll stop recording now, and I will be back when this part of the process uh, go to end. Okay, I'm back. And as you can see, uh, our will need to, to restart the uh, computer to complete uh, some processes. Okay. Okay. And you can see information about uh, our operation during the during the uh, upgrade of our SQL Server 2008 to SQL Server 2012, and uh, all our features are here. And you can see that everything. Uh, already updated successfully and uh, you can see a log file if you like uh, to see 
what actually happened and uh, what is updated do not uh, restart our computer yet I just want to show you that we have now here uh, SQL Server 2012 is, you can see here and SQL Server 2008 and uh, actually uh, uh, upgrade your current instance means uh, you are retaining your current server in this case it's 2008 server SQL server and doing a fresh install of uh, SQL server, server 2012 as you can see here we have a both uh, of our server here and uh, I will show you now this is 2012 how we connect on our uh, uh, management studio using Windows authentication and uh, SQL server name just a second okay and this is our management studio for SQL server 2012 as you can see everything is okay we are logged in SQL server 2012 and again we could run just for Test SQL Server 2008 SQL Server Management Studio. Two thousand eight, and we in the same time we have both two thousand twelve and two thousand eight SQL Server installed on our uh, in this case virtual machine, but on your server, and uh, you can easily. Uh, transfer your databases, packages and everything on the second instance on second uh, SQL Server uh, 2012 and uh, there are a couple of ways you can migrate your databases you can detach and attach, you can backup and restore or you can simply using copy database wizard I will show you in some future video how you can do all those uh, migrate strategies and how, how you can attach and attach and uh, backup and restore and copy database wizard and uh, all those uh, all those options step by step I will explain in some future video uh, at the end of this video I just want to repeat what is the mandatory when you're planning your migration strategy first of all you should check your SQL, SQL version and check if uh, if upgrade is even possible on the, some other version which you want to, to install and you should check your uh, service packs you know then uh, you should think through you know is there some downtime allowed or not you know because if you're doing some kind some migration strategy you must know if you use detach and attach, attach database you will you will uh, surely have some some uh, downtime uh, between you know those two operation and uh, you should uh, for example uh, schedule a migration during the weekend or some some other hours where uh, when your your organization will not have peak or something like that using your your information system or database and uh, you should plan your strategy also what kind of uh, what kind of migration uh, you want to use? Do you want to use detach attach? Do you want to use backup and restore? You know, uh, do you want to use copy database wizard? If you're using, for example, backup and restore, you should be careful with with uh, current logs, for example, transaction logs. If you're doing full backup and uh, after that restoring, you know, you want to end, you, you must uh, transfer also your, your transaction logs and uh, you know, uh, it's uh, planning migration strategy is very important, and uh, that is the the point of of this video, and and that would be in general that would be all, and uh, thank you for watching.